Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the Panning Games update number one. Today is the 1st of September and it is around three, two to three weeks, three weeks I think. I uploaded my intro and I think I have done really really great. If you consider I haven't focused solely on all of the things and it hasn't been a whole month. This project is a collab with the Fantastic Ladies on Facebook and this project is created by a girl named Amber. She is lovely. She is here on YouTube and her channel will be linked down below as always with the master list of the ladies that are in this collab uh, besides me. This is a panning games. It is based on Hunger Games which is one of my favorite uh, trilogies. Of movies it is so nice. You were supposed to pick 24 items out of a box with 50 items in it in 30 seconds and the 24 items is based on the 24 tributes for the 12 district districts in Hunger Games. If you want to see how I pick the items and the process overall please check out my intro it will be linked down below as always. So the images I have for this month is for and I have these four samples. So these was, of course, going to be the first ones to go. So the first one I have here is a hair mask from Aroma is Gold or something I got in a Japanese hotel. I have a facial cleanser and a cleansing oil from DHC Amenity, Amenity? Olive Energy Skincare Series. These two right here. Yeah, this was nice, but I think they broke me out, especially the face cleanser. So that was really sad, but I can't get them here in Denmark anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we have the Body Shop Oils of Life Intense and Deep Revitalizing Cream. I love this stuff. I will definitely buy this in the future when I run out of face cream, which I will never do. <laughs> but. These were really, really nice. Then we just have the progress left to show you guys. Let's start off with some body care. This one is a wonder lotion or body lotion from a brand called Yuledale here in Denmark. And it is a moisturizing wonder lotion, which is very light and delicious. <laughs> so yeah, this is for hands, body and face, but I have used this on my body only. Body only, well, don't know if you can see the mark kind of at where it's the edge begins and I'm all the way down to here. I'm so excited because I don't go through body lotion very fast, but this is very, very small. It contains 100 milliliters, so it's not very big. Then we have this face scrub that I haven't used at all, but I will use it tonight, I think, because my face is getting more dry. I have very oily skin, so my face doesn't get dry very, um, often. I'm, I mostly get kind of dry or dry patches on my forehead and on my nose and on my chin, but then I use a fa face scrub. But I need to get into the habit and do it once a week because then I think it is most effective. So I'm still here like in the intro. Then I have a day cream and this is from Matas Natura. Thank you friend, sorry. <laughs> it's a day cream with SPF 15. It is this one right here. So. I have used this every single day, but I forgot to mark it. Most of these products I have forgot to mark, but for some reason I didn't mark this and I didn't realize it goes up. It, it's a pump, you know, so it goes up and I'm pretty sure I made really nice progress. So for this update, I have marked it right here. So for next update, we will be able to tell how much I use in a month. But I'm pretty sure I can use this up because I have used this over the summer and I have used this much. So I'm not worried. This one is a serum from W7. It is called Glow It All. And this is so beautiful. If you can see it, it has kind of a duochrome. My problem with this is it's not very moisturizing. And after you have applied it, <laughs> you're kind of blue <laughs> in your on your face. So I think this is a serum for daytime under your foundation and it will glow through. I think it will be very nice, but I need to wash my hands afterwards, no matter what, because my hands are blue afterwards. I'm at that mark right there. I have only used it like a few times, so can't see any progress. Then I have a hair serum. It is the Yves Rosier Serum Exceptional Serum. Exceptional Serum. 
for beautified and fortified hair or hair types, I don't know. So I have used this a few times, as you can see there. I use like three to four pumps because I have really long hair, so it goes in most of my hair. I use this instead of a um, hair oil. I can't see the difference, to be honest. So may in the future, I won't buy this. I will just buy a normal hair oil, but I do think this is very heavy in my hair. I have really light and fine hair, but this makes it more heavy, which I don't like. Then we have my Tony and Guy London a uh, casual sea salt texturizing spray. I sleep with a braid in my hair and in the morning it's always wavy and really beautiful. For that to last throughout the day I put in sea salt spray and it helps a lot. Because my hair can't ho hold a curl more than just a few minutes, <laughs> half an hour maybe. I have guesstimated this much progress because I forgot to mark it and I have only used it like two times. So I think that is the right amount that I have used up. Then we have my Nux lip balm, this right here. I'm trying to use this up this year, so maybe I can't, maybe I can't. I've just decluttered a lip balm that I was using as well. So this will get more attention now, but I have formed a small dip in this. I'm kind of halfway through it at the moment, if you can see that, I'm down to here. I think it's going bad because it's getting a small, the uh, clumps. Can you, can you say that? I don't know. I think it's turning on me. So that's that. So I will use it until it turns completely and I, it's unusable. Then we get into the makeup. I drew two foundations and the one I am wearing right now and I have been wearing a lot lately, lately is my Room in London one. It is called Match Perfection. This is one of my favorite foundations at of all time and this is how much I have used in these two weeks, two or three weeks. <laughs> but I think that is a really really nice progress. I use two to three pumps of this because it's it's light to medium coverage and, and right now I have a lot of acne going on so I want to cover that. Then I have okay it's, it I need to shake this up otherwise it will be disgusting. This is the W7 It's a Matte Made in Heaven Heavenly Matte Foundation. This is the one right here. And this is the progress. I have used it a few times to mix in with the Wilma London one. I didn't like that combo. It was too heavy and sticky. So this is getting used all by itself, but not right now. It is a bit lighter than the Wilma London one, so I rather want to use the Wilma one before I lose all of my tan. I think I'm there. There is like a separation thing going on down here, but I'm not at that line. There's a gap right there, so I think I'm about that line. It's not perfect at any means. There's gaps right there as well, but I am using this with another concealer, just because the Maybelline one is lighter than the one I'm using at the moment. Then I have my Max Factor Face Finity All Day Primer. I'm not using this um, right now because I'm trying to use up my Wimmel London uh, Stay Matte Primer up. This time of year I'm most oily, so I want to use that up before. And I can definitely finish this by the finale, so I'm not in a rush or anything. Then we have my W7 Glow Ghoul Illuminating Face Cream in Pink Glow. This is very, very beautiful, but I don't really use it on a regular basis. That is why I'm still at that line right there. I have used it on my shoulders and collarbone a, a few times, but it is too light for me at the moment still, so I'm going to wait until I lose my tan and then I can use it. Then we have the W7 Set It Up Finishing Powder. Wow. I'm still at that line because I haven't used it. Can you see kind of? I'm still at that line because I haven't used it because I'm working on another face powder I'm almost done with. So I'm going to use this just after I have finished that powder. Then we have another W7 product. It is the Strop Go Strobing Stick. It is a cream highlighter stick. And it is called Moonlight. It is this one. It is a more champagne light color. I have it underneath my highlighter on my cheek and nose and cubits for today. So this is everything that I have left right now. On my paper I haven't made that much progress. I have it on my shoulders today. Uh, just because it's very very beautiful on my skin type. Skin tone right now. This is the progress I have for this 
three weeks. Slowly but steady. <laughs> I haven't used my Essence eyelid primer, so I'm not going to talk about that. I haven't used my eBay lip liner yet either, so I'm not going to talk about that. Then we have my L'Oreal Color Infallible Eyeshadow in Magnetic Coral. I'm going to show you guys the color because I didn't in the intro. This is the color. So you can see some wear. And I did take a picture in the beginning, so I would insert it over here. I have only used it like two or three times since, so it's not getting that much use. But I do have a picture of me wearing it. I wore it in my Harry Potter update. We have a mascara. It is from Neil Shore, a Danish brand. It is called Extension Mascara. No extension about this mascara. It is very clumpy and kind of a dry mascara. Yeah, it's not that good. I have used my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in can a few times, so can't see any use of that. <laughs> and then we have my W7 Twist and Shape Eyebrow Pencil right here that I have used uh, a lot, I think, but it doesn't show <laughs> at least. So I don't have it in my eyebrows today. I have a shadow from my Panda palette, but I do, I have used it a few times, but I'm not worried that I will face this in a year. That's everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can see in my timer that it's like 20 minutes now, so I will go now and I will try to edit this down to less than 20 minutes. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to stick around on my channel and if you don't want to miss another update on this project. I hope you guys are doing great and take care of yourself until I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!